Hey guys, so I'm going to go on the reasoning as to why I did what I did for my election night for Tim Kaine versus Donald Trump. Because a lot of people in the comments asked, hey, how'd you get this? Or they didn't understand why um, he got the electoral vote that he did. And that was mainly because of the Latino vote, because he chose Julian Castro as his running mate. I think that would definitely spike minority turnout amongst Latinos. And in states that were toss up in 2016 that are trending more with a growing Latino population, I definitely think that <clears throat> it would help Tim Kaine in an election. So, um, obviously the West Coast states go to, oops, I'm going to leave that one just as a toss-up so I can go over it. But the reason why these states went for Trump is because these are solid Republican states. I mean, um, these are states that went for him solidly in 2016. So I definitely see them going to him. I'm giving him all the states I did give him. Um, so now he's at 266 electoral votes. As for Tim Kaine, I thought he would win North. I mean, sorry, New Hampshire because of Clinton's victory there. And I think his minority VP will um, turn out more minorities, even though Hillary barely did any of that. I think that Kaine could expand on that. Um, Virginia, because it's his home state, definitely. Um, Florida, I'll go back to Illinois, yes. Minnesota, yes. Clinton won it. New Mexico, definitely with a Latino turnout. Um, Nevada, definitely, again, with a Latino turnout. Um, it's pretty much... And in Colorado, this one was exceptionally close because I think that Tim Kaine's um, weed stamps may, may hurt him in Colorado. But then again, the Latino presence in Colorado is um, huge. So it's just... And, yeah, so in Arizona, there's another huge Latino population... Um, this was a toss-up state in 2016 because of the Latino population here. And I think with Trump, um, I think if Trump keeps his approval rating as of right now, I think Tim Kaine could definitely turn out Latino voters here. And a along with Julian Castro as his running mate, I definitely could see it flipping. Along with that, so would Florida flip. So thank you all for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.